New numbers show the city of West Sacramento is seeing a spike in crime. You know, we've been up and down, and we've been down the last two years, remarkably so. And so we're experiencing an increase uh, in both violent and property crime. New tonight, CBS 13, Jennifer McGraw is at City Hall getting answers on what's causing the increase. Many people tell me they're surprised by the double digit increase in crime here in West Sacramento, and they want to know why. So we went to the city's top cop for answers. Pete Almarez grew up in West Sacramento, and he's concerned about an uptick in crime. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on, you know, from car break ins, I hear a lot of. And several cars stolen reported across the city. The beginning of the year, I think since he got his car stolen, but the guy around the corner here got his suburban stolen. Steve Morgan also lives just down the street, and he's been a victim himself, now relying on cameras to help out. They got my um, wife's um, garage door opener is the last thing they got, because I didn't lock the door. <laughs> you got to lock everything up. That's all there is to it, period. So how much has crime increased in West Sacramento? So far this year, the number of robberies and vehicle thefts have increased 35%, and aggravated assaults are up 28 percent. We're experiencing an, an increase in crime. Police Chief Tom McDonald says, relatively speaking, the number of crimes are still low. The trend that we are seeing is that they are crimes of opportunity, overwhelmingly. The crime increase came at a time when the department was experiencing labor issues with officers, including protests over low pay outside City Hall. Chief McDonald says the department is nearly fully staffed, but internal statistics show Traditional policing activities like writing tickets and field interrogations are both down by 43%. I feel very confident in our efforts to utilize the resources that we do have effectively and efficiently. He says the community needs to also be vigilant and keep items and doors locked up. There's a sales tax increase initiative on the November ballot. If it passes, it could raise money to retain and hire highly qualified officers. Jen, thanks. A Lodi man is on a mission.